<laughs> hey, Viv. Lucky, how are you, mate? Hectic as always. You've seen my massive Minas Tirith project, right? Sure, looks epic. I kind of need a massive favour. Sure, what do you need? Can you pay me up a few of those awesome City of Alaria buildings? I think they're going to be just what we need for the build. It's not something we usually do, but, you know, can I say no to the Chancellor of Zorpazorp? How many do you need, mate? Uh, 24. Okay, 24. And I, uh, sort of need them by the weekend. 24 buildings by the weekend, painted. Lucky, it's Wednesday. Sweet, thanks, man. You're the best. Fuck! Alright, let's go! I hadn't expected Lucky to call, and I certainly didn't expect to have to build and paint 24 models in, you know, less than 48 hours. But, you know, I was up for the challenge, so why not? Let's do it. The first step, and probably in my mind at this stage the longest, was going to be the assembly. So I threw on Lord of the Rings and got cracking. Alright, so we're not even halfway through the first model yet, and I've somehow super glued a super glue bottle to my thumb. There we go, that's the first playthrough of Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. And all I've managed to assemble is, you know, two and a half signal towers. But we have had lots of people coming in, you know, doing studio tours and all that sort of stuff. So now it's time to really knuckle down and see how much we can get done. After having assembled only a handful of models for the whole duration of that movie, I was feeling, you know, very uncertain, but you know, I went up and down so many times throughout this project that I'm still feeling confident at this stage. I'm running on hardly any sleep at all. You know, I'm starting this impromptu. That's the end of the two towers. And you know, I've made some progress. Managed to assemble, you know, eight uh, signal towers. I've done one dwelling. I kept on dropping things on the floor and there's so much MDF on the floor in the studio it was impossible to find anything. I also didn't have a plan of attack so every time I dropped a piece on the floor I'd have to go off to the lasers and cut just that part. But I did find that having things on YouTube to watch really helped keep me entertained, especially watching other people's 24 hour challenges or their terrain builds. And then I go and do something and then it ends up looking like a bag of crap. Good evening, how are you? Good, thanks. Can I order a pizza for delivery? Okay. Right, it's just gone 9.30, more 9.35. I've just begun assembling the next building. Here's my pizza. Now I've got a big pizza so I've got some for later. But you know, I'm a big greedy bastard, I'm probably going to eat it all now. Anyway, I was saying it's just gone 9.35. I've just started assembling the 13th building. My eyes are killing me. My back's killing me. I'm running on a couple of hours sleep. I was here at the studio until six o'clock this morning. And then, you know, I get Lachlan's call. And I need him by the weekend. But we push on. We'll get it done. We'll see. 24 buildings in 24 hours. It's time for a pizza break. I really am a sucker for punishment. I'd only had two hours sleep that day after finishing in the studio at six o'clock in the morning. But I'm always one to accept a challenge. I love a challenge, you know, pressure is something that really drives me forward. And I knew I could get this done, but it was super, super hard on me. All right, it's, um, it's just after midnight. I just had the biggest scare. I can still smell smoke in the air, cutting up things in lasers. Is it, you know, dangerous at times. But I, you know, I was sitting here assembling another building. All of a sudden I could smell this really acrid, you know, smoke, like industrial building burning smoke. I had one of the lasers on, you know, cutting parts that I keep dropping on the floor and losing. And I thought, far out, when the machine's on fire. Couldn't find anything. Went outside, you can smell it, but I can't see anything anywhere. My heart is still pounding. Way too sleep deprived for this. As bad as I was feeling, I really wanted to get this done. Not just for Lockie, but also for myself. It was a massive, massive challenge, and I just couldn't not get it done. It's half past three, and I managed to get all of these buildings behind me assembled. A bunch of the little uh, signal towers, some dwellings, a couple of quarters, and one chapel, which was a massive pain in the ass to assemble. You know, I didn't dry fit things properly and uh, gluing things in the wrong spot. By this stage, I'm running on fumes. 
I've had no sleep. My fingers are raw. I can hardly feel my fingertips from so much assembly that at 6 a.m. I decided to take a break. Right, oh, so after some rest, got, uh, what am I working out to be? Eight hours left? Yeah, eight hours left. So we've only got 18 buildings, well, 17 done, and part way through a bell tower. Um, so we still need to do, once I've done this, we still need to do five more models. And I reckon inside that eight hours, you know, I can assemble five more models. That's budget four hours for painting everything. That leaves me four hours to assemble five more models. I think I can do it, so time to crack on. After getting a few hours rest at home, I came back to the studio in the morning, determined to see this through. So far, I'm still within the 24 hours period since Lachlan's phoned me, but I'm losing confidence that I'm gonna be able to get this done within that 24 hour period. Body oak. That's one more done. I think we need one more. This is the 24th, 23rd building. Almost two hours left. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. There's the storehouse assembled and finished. So, so far, we're up to 23 and a half hours. About so half an hour to paint everything. Pretty sure that's not going to happen. Looks like we're going into a bit of overtime. So I'm budgeting, you know, three to four hours. We'll see. Now I've been up and down so far on this journey. In the very beginning, I didn't think it was gonna be possible. Then, uh, you know, partway through, I was feeling pretty excited. Let's see what we can get painted and how long this whole thing's gonna end up being. Hoping somewhere around the 27, 28 hours. Let's get it done. I'm well into overtime now, but I'm still determined to get this project finished as quickly as I can so it can ship on its way up to Lachlan in Queensland. So I select a range of spray paints that I've used in the past. I start off by giving the models a spray with this texture coat from Dulux, which I've used in many of my tutorials, which you can find on the channel. This just gives us something that we can help highlight our dry brushing with a little bit later on. I used half of this. And that's all 24 done, textured. Simple, basic, yes, but you know, it'll work. I start undercoating everything black, but then a mild catastrophe occurs. I'm only halfway through undercoating everything. I thought I had a dozen cans of black spray paint. For some reason, I can only find five and I've got one left. So I've done that outside of all the buildings, but you know, we've still got all the insides of the buildings to do. If I can't finish spraying these buildings black, I'm going to have to wait until the shops are open so I can buy some more black spray paint. Luckily enough, after searching around on the shelves, I find enough half empty cans, almost empty cans, just enough spray paint to actually get this done. So there we go. Everything now is undercoated black, ready for the gray over spray and you know, the next steps, the like beige, beige colors and the white color. It's, this has taken a lot longer than I expected, but you know, we're getting there. I give all the buildings a Xenophil highlight with this gray primer. And at this stage, uh, there's no chance I can get this challenge finished inside 24 hours. In fact, I'm already past, so I decide to go home, have a rest, and turn this into a 48 hour challenge. The gray is all done. Time to move on to the first of the, the MTN 94 colors. This one is Balboa gray. If you've watched my tutorial on how I painted the ruins, uh, I'm gonna be painting these exactly the same way. So the Balboa gray followed by some Stardust gray, and then we'll be finished. Quick dry brush of some white and a little bit of weathering and you know, maybe half an hour more. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be a few more hours. Okay, so I've just got done with the Stardust Grey. Now they're not looking too bad, they're a little bit plain at the moment, but uh, you know, we're getting there, we're getting there. Next step is to paint the roofs. I'm going to do them in the Minas Tirith Blue, obviously. Then we can get around to weathering them, throw some washes on them, a little bit of, you know, oil stains or decking stains, and you know, they should come up okay. Pretty happy with the progress. I wasn't looking forward to masking all of these roofs off. I thought it was going to be a terribly complicated process. And often it can be much easier to paint MDF models in parts and then assemble them. But I didn't do that in this case, so I needed to mask things off. Luckily and quite happily, it was actually a very simple process. Well, I'm done. I took about an hour's break, started again at about 5 a.m. It's just gone past six. I've masked off and sprayed all the roofs blue. There's not much else I can do now because this MTN94 paint 
you know, it's a graffiti paint, uh, you know, street art paint is incredibly sticky and it needs proper time to dry before I can put, you know, washes and oils and stuff on it. So you know, my, my original plan to do all of this in 24 hours was, you know, <laughs> But it's looking pretty good. You know, washes and some weathering and stuff, we'll finish this off. I'm out, see ya. Okay, so we're almost at the end. Everything is painted. Now we need to throw a wash on these, do some weathering, and you know, then I think we'll call it there. By this stage, 48 hours has come and gone. And because I'm a human, I needed to actually have some rest. I'm well within the 48 hours of working on this project. So at this stage, I'm approaching it in blocks of time. And if I can finish this project from start to finish within 48 hours over a period of a couple of days, I'd be quite happy. I am now very well aware that dry brushing is not a quick process, especially when you're doing 24 models. It took ages. Okay, so we're getting there. So far, I'm up to a full working week, uh, 37 and a half hours uh, on this project. You know, I totally underestimated how long it would take to dry brush things. But, you know, I've got a good chunk of it done. There's still five buildings left to dry brush and, uh, and then, then we'll come back with a little bit of uh, decking stain and do some weathering and we'll be done. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna, I, I just need to, to knock this out now. What, you know, began as a ridiculous 24 hours, uh, you know, has turned into, you know, quite a prolonged exercise here. I, I'm very confident we'll get it done now within 48 hours. 24 buildings assembled and painted in 48 hours is pretty good. Let, let's get it done. It's the last one. All done. Here we go. It's 6am and I'm done. I can't do any more on this set. I've spent 40 hours, 40 hours and 15 minutes. Um, working on this set and I'm pretty happy with it. You know, I would, there's loads of stuff I'd love to continue doing. You know, I hope that this is gonna come in handy for Lachlan and his massive MESPG event. It's been great fun to work on. I would have loved to have smashed it out in 24 hours, but <laughs> that was ridiculous. Uh, but you know, I'm super happy. 24 buildings built and painted in 48 hours. But there we go, you know, what a fun project. I was going to say I'd love to do another one, but I'm not so sure about that. I'm out of here. I'm going home getting some sleep. Thanks, Lockie, for letting me be a part of this community build. Don't forget to check out Lockie's video and the other awesome collaborators involved in this project. You'll find links for their videos in the description below. And as always, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all keeping well. Cheers.